I'm gonna make you think today. Sometimes we do STEM, you know, science, technology, engineering, engineering math. math. We're gonna do a little STEM today. So I've got a device sitting there in front of us. I would like you to look at that thing and give me really your honest best guess what it is. I think this component here was put there to make it stable. I think this part right there, that handle, it's to adjust the angle. So if yes. you loosen it, then you can scoot the thing and then re-tighten it and uh, adjust so it. it. We had two tightening handles, you noticed. Anybody notice anything else? Just I think that this mirror is yeah. used to focus light onto that bar. That's pretty good. Corlin is going to bring you a clue. When you see it, you're going to go, uh, aha, let's see if you can do it. Hey, uh, hey. Uh, aha, uh, yep, that's it. Did you have an aha uh -huh there? I guess. Yes, yeah. uh, uh, it has to be a solar cooker. It uh -huh. is. That's a cooker. Yeah, it is a solar hot dog cooker. Where would you put the hot dog? Inside, in the tube. Yeah, well, you guys are going to do that in a minute. You're going to go take it outside and see if you can get one cooking. Yum. So we are going to go out and use it, and it is a solar hot dog Let's cooker. Go. Could you make one of those just out of stuff around the house? Yes. Yes. What would be the most challenge for you? The angle, how to, how to make it adjustable, probably. Because when the sun's else, going through the yeah. sky, you got to change your angle. Yeah, I'm going to change it. See anything else on here that is unusual or... Mm, what? Yes, those. I think Who knows? We see that little hole yep. there? So what am I lined up with? Outside you. Well, well outside you be the sun. Right now you're There's lined too up many with studio lights. lights. Yeah, too many lights in here. But see, when you do this thing outside, do you want to be staring at the sun trying to aim it? No. Nope. Not no. particularly. So how would you aim this thing at the sun? With the hole. A special hole. Oh, yeah. Yep. The sunlight comes down through it, and when it comes down straight, it'll make a little circle. And if it comes in at an angle, it makes kind of an oval shape. Have you ever taken a magnifying glass and tried to sure burn something? You gotta, get, you gotta get the little point. So the challenge is, could you make one of these at home? And you guys say, yeah, might not be this fancy. We gotta get that curve. We're gonna go fire this thing up while you guys go out, a couple of you go out, take it outside and put some hot dogs in there, see if we can get it going. You're the strongest. Oh, it's, oh, no. it's super light. The hot dogs. And we got buns over there too somewhere. Are the hot dogs outside? The dogs yes. are cooking. Making that curve for the back of that. Have you ever seen a shape like that? When somebody's trying to hear you, what do they do? Ever seen on people that don't have cable, they have a little satellite like dish. So I'll try a little Euclidean thing. Do you recognize this? Yeah, Chopstick. Chopstick. Now just imagine this is dirt, and I'm not, I don't have any of it. And I just went like this. What am I making? A circle. 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 Am I making two circles? Can you see the other circle up on the top? Yeah. 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 Now, if I could take the path of this, the bottom stick, and kind of see the whole thing, what shape am I making? A cone. Can you see one cone there? Two and cones. And then in a cone up there. Because uh -huh. you see, this is making a circle. And then right where my fingers is, is the top, kind of like a pyramid, but it'd be round. Maybe you see a cone. Look, everybody's, you see everybody on the other side of the camera just laughing. Oh, they're looking at a stick and seeing cones. That's what we do, right? Yeah, we love cones. Yeah. We do. Ice cream cones. Sometimes they'll call us cones. cone heads and we'll say, well, thank you. So what would happen if, I'm, if I've got this cone and I take a knife and just cut right through one of the cones and lifted it off. What shape would I see right there? A circle. A circle. Can you see that circle? If I take the cone and I just slice it just like that. But what if you sliced straight down on the sides of the cone on you know this slice like that kind of like a like an arch can you see that arch check this out would you grab that box by your feet these conic sections what in the world is the wizard got a box that says conic sections on it i believe sections of cones it all the way yep up. and i'm right no, no. sections of cones sections of cones we got cones we have cones i'll take this one you got a cone, you got a cone, you got a cone. Everybody's got a cone. Start out with Deuce. Deuce, describe the cone that demonstrates that conic section. Ooh. <laughs> it makes a circle at the top it makes and a circle at the bottom. The intersection of a plane, do it just right, you get a circle. And what do you have down here at the end? Becca. I have the second cut yeah. where you cut it off and you get an oval. And here I have the original cone that hasn't been messed with, right? The OG. I think we get that stapled up on your hat. That would be all right. Call you cone hit. Now we've got these other two. That's what happens when you cut yeah. down. Oh, you slice it. This one was cut 
perpendicular to the table. I was just kind of straight down. And this one, it looks awful close to that. Now I want you to look very carefully. You see that angle right there? This is a parabola. And this shape right here is what that mirror is. It's sliced at the same angle as the other side. So it's like train tracks going up there. That shape right there is called a parabolic curve. This shape over here is a hyperbola. The one that's straight up and down is called a hyperbola. If I had another cone on top, if I went straight up, I'd cut this one too, wouldn't I? It means this is a hyperbolic shape. So all you have to do to make your solar cooker at home is to figure out how to make a curve that's a parabola. Looky here. Cortland did this for us. Look at this. What are these? Funnels, right? And look what he did. He cut straight through there and you see that curve? That's the straight up and down one, hyperbola. And the one that's the same angle as the other side of the cone. Parabola. Parabola. Yeah. Now I could take this and just trace around it, put it on a piece of paper, and I've got a parabolic curve. And I could take something covered with shiny mirror or something and bend it to this shape. But what happens with the parabola is when light comes in, it hits the mirror and it bounces off. And all those light beams meet at the same spot. And that's where we put the hot dog. So you have all that light energy coming in, hitting the mirror or the foil or whatever, reflecting off. And when it bounces off, they all cross right about here. And that's what that mirror is outside. It's a parabolic curve. And that's what's stuck on the side of your head, these ears. So this was a lesson in conic sections. Hyperbola, parabola. Let's go see what those hot dogs are doing. Everybody say goodbye. Adios. Hasta luego. So, you think it was a success? I would yeah. say that is a major success. Those are yeah. roasted. Those are they, those are flaming dogs. Now who's gonna pick up the hot dogs? Once you not it, not it. Oh, you didn't say hot dogs.